Podcast and QuanticaSmith.com. Smile for me. I am back with the second part of the Society 6 um, How to Start a Print on Demand Business. So today we're going to talk about creating your first product. Society 6 has lots of different products that you can choose from. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to go ahead and upload your artwork, right? So I just titled it DMS. And you can select a category. Um, this is more like graphic design. So that's what I did. It also populates, you know, suggested tags here that you can do. Um, I'll change like, so I do have black and white, pop art, pattern. Okay, so I'll use those. And then you can put in your own. So I just put in those two that kind of define my brand and then you can put it in description. Okay, I'm going to hit save details on that. And here is how this kind of works. So as you can see, there's so many things down here, but this is kind of how it works. <clears throat> you can turn things off and on. So here's a frame um, mini art. Um, here is another frame art print. Here's the art print so you can turn things off and on. So say the art print is on, we're gonna hit edit, right? Kinda like Redbubble, pretty much like Redbubble. Um, but when you hit edit, you know, we did upload two designs, right? This is where you get to see the other design come into action, it's here for you to upload if you need it. So even though it's one product, you can interchange the designs the way you, you do. Um, and if you've watched my Redbubble sticker video, um, this is a good one for you to create that sticker the way you want it. So here's the art print. Um, let's see. If I wanted to switch it to this, I could. See how that interchange? So I'm just going to hit save and enable lots of product dimensions and stuff there when you hit edit as well. So I'm going to leave that one on. I'm going to turn off the canvas print and it will let you know like Redbubble what kind of like you can tell but it does not let you enable it until you change the product to this size. So it would have to be the 4,000 by the 5,000 here. Okay. So nothing will show if it's not the right dimensions. And again, you can always upload that actual file. So you have a throw pillow here, floor pillow, rectangular puller. I think that's super cute in that pattern. You have a clock. You have wallpaper, which is amazing. Um, what else do we have over here? Throw blanket, rug. They have bar stools, counter stools, coffee table, bench, credenza. Bed and bath, duvet cover, shower, comfortables, hand and bath towels, pillow shams, bath mats, travel mug, coasters, serving tray, cutting board, acrylic tray, acrylic, acrylic box, notebook, wrapping paper, um, stationary cards, stickers, cell phone cases, apparel, um, the whole wide range of apparel stuff. They have outdoor stuff. They have a welcome mat, can cooler, picnic folding stools, yoga mats, sling chairs, sunshade, and beach towel. So they have so many different items, right? So I just just let a few um, be on. I didn't turn on a lot of them. I'll turn on that travel mug. But most of them were off, and I didn't turn them on. So once you turn them on, then you would just hit publish artwork make sure everything was good here so now that is published so we can go to view my shop i don't know how long it takes it to show up but here we see it says one design and we'll see if it comes up okay All right, not yet. See, and that's the only thing that I said. I think it took a while for stuff to show up. 
from what I remember, it does not show up right away. So let's go to um, manage my post. Well, I don't think I have any posts up. But my artwork, and then it has my products. So I did, I think, do an art print. So there's the art print right there. So that's pretty much how you set up and create your first product in Society6. You can go back and create collections and set your store up um, real nice and fancy, but make sure, you know, that's up to you how, you know, your store looks afterwards and how you set it up. And I'm just kind of showing you how to start. Um, but again, you can set your store up however you want it to be, to look, however many designs. If you guys have any other questions about Society6, feel free to ask. I will answer them all to the best of my knowledge. And if I don't know the answer, um, I will try to find it. If you have any other questions about what you can do or how to make money from Society6, um, let me know. I did create a shop that I need to continue setting up. So I could get my first sale, hopefully in the fourth quarter. So if you don't see me consistently just in the comments, it's because I'm focusing on fourth quarter and making sure all of my print-on-demand sites are up to par with at least 25 products in each store. So I just truly thank you guys for checking me out. And I will leave um, all of the information in the description box. And until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.